so so far so good and now we want to see how we can have all these buttons here work the timeline takes us to our timeline which is uh, awesome but uh, we want to have this about friends photos and settings work as well all right so the way to do this is we want for when we click here the top part doesn't change but only the bottom content actually changes so to do that what we want to do is go to the profile.php page okay and then let's go just below the menus so this is where the menus are this is the below the cover area right here where there's this uh, oh sorry where there is this div right here so what i want to do is get this all this information so i'll select the div and go down here and see its corresponding uh closing tag so i'll grab the closing tag and everything up to where it says cover area below cover area and i'll cut everything below that and then i'll create a new file and paste everything there and i'm going to save this file now i'm going to save this file you can uh, name it anything you want but in our case we are going to save it as profile let me save it as profile underscore content underscore default so this is the default dot php dot php right so i'll save the profile dot php as well so that now if i refresh i just see this top part right here okay now let's include the bottom part so at this point here we're just going to say include but before that let's add some php tags okay so up here i'm going to say include and i'll include this file i'm going to say uh profile content default dot php quite the long name right so if i come back here and refresh you see that uh, it looks like nothing actually went wrong or they're not two separate files but the advantage of this is now i can switch off whatever part i want and put a different file on that section anytime all right so let's give an example of that let me add an if statement here i'm going to say uh section is equal to default like that okay section dollar sign there section is equal to default and i'm going to ask the question is the section set in the get i'm going to say if get section if is set rather let me remove those and let me increase the size if is set get a section like that okay then let's set section to something else now the reason we put a default here is that in case we don't have that uh, get variable we can still load something instead of loading something empty so if it is set we're going to assign to whatever that is and put it here okay and then we can have a few sections down here and say if section is equal to default in this case then we we are going to load this guy right here like so okay so if i refresh nothing will change here very good however if i can put an else statement else and copy this if i might as well copy the whole thing and paste it here and close it so now it means i can add some different content for example if i if it's set to photo photos then i can say profile content photos so I'll make another file which has profile content photos down here okay so and then i can go up here where there's photos and add this let me remove that so i can add it again 
So we'll add an A tag. So we'll copy from the top part here and go to the photos and paste. And then remember to add the closing A tag. And then let's put in a question mark and say section is equal to photos. Okay, so you can do exactly the same thing for everything else. So let me copy this and put here. And this section is going to be settings. And just like that, uh, this one is going to be friends, but let's change friends to follow, uh, to following. These are the people I am following. So let me just change this to following since we added a follow button. And the same thing will go to the about section. But I'm very skeptical whether we'll get to a point where we actually do settings and about. But uh, just for the sake of it, let me do that. Don't forget the A tags on all of these. The closing A tags. And that's it. So now if I click on photos, obviously I'll get, I may get an error. Uh oh. What is going on? This is very strange. Oh, sorry. It's not supposed to go to index.php. It's profile.php. My bad. So let me change all these indices here and say profile like that. Because the index.php is the timeline. So I'm going to click here. And there we go. So now I get an error here which says failed to open, no such file exists. So what we are supposed to do here is in an in an event where the file does not exist, we can load something else. However, let's just make sure that the file exists in the first place. So let me go to let me come back here and timeline profile to the default because I will want to use uh, I might actually not need any of this so what I will do is just copy this name new file and save and I'll save it as that one so that now if I click on photos I get an empty section here instead of nothing now up here we can um, uh, do something to load the images that we want, okay? So let's put some PHP tags over here. That way we can run a query. So let's create a new DB here. We're going to say DB is equal to uh, new database like so all right so let not, now let's create a query and we're going to say in this query select all from uh, posts because we want only image posts where uh, if you remember correctly let's go back to the uh, the posts table there's a column where which says has image and that's the column that we really want so when that uh, column is equal to one then we have an image in there so this has image here which as you can see where there's an image it's equal to one so that's what we're looking for so where has underscore image is equal to one so we make sure that's uh, but also these images are supposed to be belonging to this particular profile. So in order for us to know which profile this is, uh, we're going to use the, um, let me come back here to profile.php, okay? So up here, we're going to see that the user's data, user data right there is the, <coughs> excuse me, is the variable that has um, the data for this particular profile. 
So we're going to copy that and we're going to say where has one has image is equal to one and we'll do the double and user data user id here we don't put any inverted commas because it's inside uh, double quotes so and user id is equal to uh, let's come back here let me go to the database again so as you can see here where the <coughs> uh, sorry where the user id this is what tells us which uh, user actually posted this content so it should be only this user id should be equal to the current uh, user id from users data so here we're going to say and user id is equal to there we go so that's all it is we can order them by the uh, latest we're going to say order order by id descending like so okay and also we're going to have to limit these and say limit 30 for example because we don't want to load maybe a hundred of them i'm going to show you how to move to the next page if there are too many of these images but for now we're going to use limit 30 there okay and then we're going to have uh, images will be equal to database oh sorry we're going to use that db db pointer read like so and then we add the sql and then we close up now we have to make sure that some result was returned so we're going to check if is an array images if this is an array then we are good to go all right but let's add what will happen if there's an else statement there so we have we are going to echo out uh, something like no images were found like so all right uh, let's save that however if something was found uh, if something was found we're going to load these particular images but before we do that let's see what's happening on over here so let's click on photos and there we go so we have uh, nothing here okay all right so we need to be able to see that box down there the div that is down there so what i will do is copy from this profile content default right uh this post area right here uh -huh. so i'm going to copy this div i want to use it up here uh where is it photos there we go so we're going to add it before the php tags because this is html I'm going to add it there and we will remove the flexing and just add a width for example of 100% uh, so that it fills the entire space and then down here I'm going to close the div so that at least we can see something if and when there are no uh, images whatsoever right so let me go back here to make sure that uh, there's something missing here we don't have a background color do we all right so let's add a background color we're going to say background color and put white like so so that when we come back here and refresh the page we'll get something down here so the width is 100 percent which maybe uh is a problem because there's a padding of 20 pixels there which um, is creating that extra width so we might have to uh, reduce that padding if i remove the padding for example you're going to see that it will line up with everything there we go so we may leave that and then just add margins to whatever we are putting inside there okay 
so the fact that we're not seeing the no images were found it means there is uh, some images here we just have to echo them so what we will do is we're going to do the echo open close bracket like so 